When we create a front-end application, we often need a state management system. What is this exactly? Well, when you have a view and you declare some variables inside this view, you have what we call a scope, and these variables are available only in that scope. However, sometimes we need to have some kind of state management to just share, for instance, the data or variables between component pages and everywhere in your application. For that, we use a state management system, and of course, with Vue 3, if you already coded a Vue 3 application before, you might know Vue X or Pina. But with Nux 3, we have a new solution, which is user state, and we are going to look at it right now. Nux 3 provides user state composables to create a reactive and SSL-friendly shared state across components. SSR friendly, what does it mean? Later in this course, we are going to look at rendering mode. And SSR means server-side rendering. Here, Nuxt is talking about user state. And user state is a ref replacement. So if you don't know ref, it's a, a new function provided by Vue 3 that actually will create for us a proxy variable that will be reactive. If you want to know more, I highly recommend you to look at reactivity in Vue 3. Let's have an example. Here we have a basic usage that I'm going just to copy paste. So I got my app there. I'm going to remove all of this and use the official, uh, actually the official example. So when I get back, there we go. We see that when I click, I increase or decrease my counter. And my counter is up there and is using a user state counter, which is returning actually a value. All right, that's really interesting. But what we are looking for actually is to have some kind of store or state inside our app. So here it is working, all right. But here we see that we have shared state. And this might be what you are looking for. Let's go to our composables and let's create a new file called states.ts. By the way, in the previous course of Composables, I told you that the convention is to use as a prefix for your Composables. It seems that here in this example, it's not respecting the convention. Here I see export const there. I'm going to copy this, all right? And there we go. Now I got this state.ts through Composables that is injected inside my whole application. And so I got two values available, use counter and use color. And the thing is that here we would like it work like a state in Vuex. Why do I take Vuex as an example? Because if you did Nux2 before, you knew that a folder store would be already uh, written by default. And in this store, every store that you would create would follow the path of Vuex. So basically, you would have Vuex store that would be auto-imported, auto-injected inside your Nux content application. Actually, every store that would be created inside this store folder would be injected directly into the Nux context of your application. Here we've got an example of a Vuex store. And basically, there's a state there's mutation, there's actions, there's dispatch, all right? But this is for Vuex. In the example provided by um, Nux3, we see that this use state can work exactly like a store and can return actually just an object or a value that could change. So what we want to test, we want to test that is this counter will, be, will have actually the same value everywhere in my app. So here, instead of having counter there, I'm going to call use counter, which actually comes from my state. Here, I got my use counter. And what I want to do, I want to create a component, and let's say that we're going to have a counter component, counter.view, that would have exactly the same code as in my app. Now I've got this, I can create a new div, and next to it, I'm going to call my counter. So I will have a double counter. Here, what I can do is to put an ID and let's put the ID main. And here I'm going to put another ID, which will be counter. When I get back to my app, we see that I got these two different files. I got this file, which is the counter, and I got this one, this scope, which is main. I want to be sure that my state in counter will also change. So let's click and we see 
that actually my state is changing in the two components. Here we've got what we call a shared state. We can define global type safe states and import them across the application. So the main question would be, Guillaume, why we will use a state.ts that will be actually a composables instead of using Vuex or Pina? That's the question I asked myself also. And I found this very good article on viewmastery.com, which is a reference about Vue, written by Michael Thyssen. And this article is called Nux Free State Management, Pina versus Use State. And here Michael is asking the same question as me. Do I use Nux Free Home State Management Solution Use State? Or should I use Nux Free with Pina? Which is better? Well, here is the short answer provided by Michael Thyssen. Pina is what you get if you keep adding more and more features to user state. More complex app will benefit from the extra features in Pina, but user state is better for small and simple apps. This is the short answer, and I think everything is said there. If you have a big application and once your user state is heavier, you should use a state manager like Pina. Otherwise, if you have a small application, you better use user state. And if you want to know more about why we use user state instead of ref, what is state hydration, and what are all the problems around it, and why to use uh, either uh, user state or ref, I recommend you to read this article. Otherwise, we will have to install Pinia as a state manager. Because yes, even if I showed you this state management system by Nuxt Free, I also want to show you a bit of Pinia. Because yes, for me, I can't make a course about Nuxt Free without talking about Pinia, which is an amazing state manager. So let's have a look. Let's install Pinia. And so I'm going to stop my server. And I'm going to type yarn add pina at pina nuxt. So you understood now that this pina nuxt is a module that I'm going to add. And if you want to look at it, you can go on the module page of nuxt3 to find it. Or otherwise, you go on pina.vgs.org and you look for nuxt.js. So I'm going to get back to my nuxt.config.js and I'm going to add pina nuxt. There we go. Now, what I got is that I can use the store outside of setup. So I'm going to type yarn dev again, and I'm going to create a new folder at the root of my application. And this new folder will be stores. Uh, actually, in this folder, what I'm going to put is actually, yeah, my store. They call it my store, as an example, mystore.js. So now I need to create my store. So when I get back, I got an example there. I got several examples actually. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy paste this use counter store. There we go. So how does a store is working? As I said to you, with Pina, we got state, getters, and actions only. All right. So now with the state, we are returning some value. And we got getters that are actually uh, like computed function that will return to you the value when it's updated. And then we got action. Only the action are supposed to mutate our store. We've got another option. We can write our store with the view free way. So here, as you see, we've got ref, we've got computed, we've got increment. So when I get back there, I have the old way of doing it. Now I'm going to copy paste and we are going to look quickly at the difference. Down there, we have the view free composition API that has been used. And up there, we have the view two, which is actually used with the option API. State are replaced by reference and getters are replaced by computed properties. I decided to keep it on the view free way. So with the composition API, I got my store. I'm going to import my store, which is use counter store. I'm going to create a variable called store which we call actually the counter store. And I want to console log it. When I get back to my app, we see that I have the proxy that represents actually my store. And if you are using Vue DevTools, which is actually an extension for Chrome, 
you can see that there we've got access to our Pina stores and we've got our counter just in here. We see that there are several ways of dealing with the state management inside Nuxt Free. You can have the user state through composables or you can use Pina, which is a more complete library or module to help you to deal with state management across pages and components.